So now I'd like to talk with you about variation. And with variation, we have two types of variation. We have direct variation, and the other type is inverse variation. And in this video, I will discuss direct variation, and in the next video, I'll do inverse variation. But I already want to say that it's important that you see the relationship between variation and proportion. Yeah, because they are almost the same things, only variation is perhaps a more um, algebraic uh, or algebraic representation of the situation. Yeah? So now I purely want to focus upon direct variation. And I'd like to use the example again I've used before of when you are going to the supermarket to buy a football. Now let's say you want to buy one football or you go to the store and you see that one football is going to cost you, I don't know, 25 pounds. Yeah. But you decide to buy a few more footballs. Yeah. So let's say you decide to buy another one. So two footballs, yeah. how much is that going to cost you? Well, all of you know that it's not going to cost you less than 25. It's actually going to cost you two times 25 pounds. So it's going to cost you 50 pounds. Yeah, because you realize that if I buy twice as many footballs, yeah, so I multiply that by a factor of two, then the price will also be multiplied by a factor of two. And if I decide to buy even more, let's say five footballs, yeah, well, one football to five footballs, that is a factor of five. So the price will also be increased by a factor of five. So it's going to be 125 pounds. That is direct proportion and you should be already familiar with that. And if I would construct an equation of this situation, we could say, well, the price you have to pay is going to be 25 pounds times the amount of footballs. Yeah. So the price I have to pay is 25 times the amount of footballs I buy. Yeah? So the price is 25 times two. If I buy two of them, so 25 times two, the price is gonna be 50, okay? Now, perhaps because I don't like writing, you probably can't even write, read my handwriting properly. If I can shorten that for P equals 25 F, yeah? The price equals 25 times the amount of footballs. Yeah, and that is the algebra equation that belongs to this situation, the P equals 25 times F. And if I would sketch that in, in a graph very quickly, this is just a sketch. Yeah, if I would have the price here and the amount of footballs here, yeah, the origin, one football, two footballs, three, four, five, 25 pounds, 50 pounds, 75 pounds, 100 pounds, 125, yeah, these are in pounds, um, amount of footballs, let's just put their amount, then, well, surely if I buy zero footballs, I'm going to pay zero pounds, yeah, otherwise, do not go to that store if you have to pay anything, if you buy nothing, but if I buy one, it's 25, two, it's 50, three, 75, four, 100, five, 125, so if I would sketch that, that is a line through the origin, as you can see, like this, okay? Direct variation. In the next video, I'm gonna show you a more abstract example, yeah, but that relates to this question of the footballs.